Alright everybody, welcome back to Ruthless Aggression Game and Madden series. Sorry it's been so long. Uh, I've been working on a couple other things for a while, but we had a lot of work to do, personal work. And I've also been starting on the MLB The Show series, so I'd appreciate if you guys would go over there and check that out. We're at shortstop for the Yankees. And uh, we're about middle to the end of our first year. Uh, but I want to get back here and finish our Madden series, at least finish our third season, see if we can win that Super Bowl before the new Madden comes out. That's, uh, Fletcher Cox for the Eagles. But, uh, anyway, we'll get, uh, back to it, trying to, we, uh, second season we lost in Super Bowl against the Rams on a last second drive. Uh, open up season three with the win against the Jaguars and now we will start against the Philadelphia Eagles I uh, appreciate everyone coming back and supporting the channel and uh, let's get into it Today. All right, defense held on. All right, let's see what we can do with starting off here. Now the first carry from Marlon Mack, and he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the Not bad at all. A look at the numbers for Mac from last week. He was, without a doubt, one of the catalysts in that victory. And he could really be the glue that makes this offense go, because when defenders have to commit to stopping him, that just opens up more opportunities in the passing game. And he's able to get right it up, up to the middle. Brought down there. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 32 now. Watch that safety, see what he does. The play fake. He'll look to throw. Nobody open. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Michael Pittman that time. But it'll be second down. Darius Slay on the coverage. Out of the gun. Here's a give to Mack. Oh, He's Mack, if you just blew it straight instead of cutting, he probably could have got the first. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll try and run for this with Mac. And he's uh, it wasn't a great run, but he got it. <laughs> before picking up the first. Oh, get a couple yards on that one. Give him a fresh set of downs. Don't like doing pitches unless we're in the, in the red zone, but we'll see. Yeah, not a lot of people. Not, not enough people get covered. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly <sighs> figured that one out and made a really nice There's play. no reason that should have been negative yardage. Completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much unless of course you're playing defense if you're getting points per reception you got a reception but yeah no yardage great job by the defense though they they read through that one they read through it gave up got a man it's wow the 10. nice down deep in Philadelphia at a boy ty they're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal at the five yard line They'll run here with Mac. Oh, oh wow, he got it. About to get mad at him for not just running in the middle. Big 
They got three. Ooh, nobody blocked him. Call it a one yard gain up to the twenty six. The last play got just a yard. Oh, wow. Nine from the twenty six. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that his defense. Oh, go T.Y. Go. Oh, wow. Go T.Y. Nice. Saw them bringing all kinds of pressure. Perfectly red. And the cold strike quickly here for six points. Very nice. Yeah, they're bringing all kinds of heat again. They begin the drive on the ground with Mac. Wow, Mac still got almost a, another first, almost the first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? And the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. On second down, here's a run with Mack. Marlon back to the ball here. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize That's weak. that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. On third down, that's a good job of situational football. Now let's just keep pounding the rock. Marker was and getting there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run it out of the gun with Mac. Uh, I would have popped it. Quickly there. That wasn't a great hole, but. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made. It's not a lot of great front. plays, because but if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Well, T.Y., why didn't you just go straight like you did? That was another breakaway touchdown. Except for that stupid ass cutting. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll run on first down with Mark. That's Mack. terrible running, Mac. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up. Could have been like down. a pickup of a hell of a lot more than that. Holler, and it was a four-yard run, so the offense could go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel like okay to go to because you didn't Campbell, turn into a bigger Burton, or Hilton. Shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Nice. Here will come at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First and ten at the 38-yard line. They'll run with Mac. I probably should have just kept going left. He might have gotten something out of that. Let's go to the two-minute warning. Well, let's see if we can get all the way down there. Maybe Burton across the middle. Oh god dang, if I just had a little bit more time. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Oh, both of them were open. Wow. Wow. Wanted to go to someone else besides Hilton, but that was the smarter option because that other guy was able to block for him. Block that last guy. Big game for T.Y. I guess we'll see what we can get out of a screen. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll run the screen with Mac. What well, you gotta use your blocks, Mac. Bounds across the 30-yard line. A good 
pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass looked like it was coming together. I want to go looked big, like but I'll probably just check down if it doesn't work. Ended up with a solid game. Oh, and I got creamed. See if we can get out of the field goal. Alright, Burton, let's break away here, man. Ah, dang it. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Normally you think the tight end's gonna be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Oh, I didn't see the other guy. He's right behind him. 12 seconds left. He was looking for Michael Pittman that time, and it's third down. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw again. He'll take a shot downfield for ah. Pittman, and he backs it away. That's okay. Down incomplete. Coverage that time by Deontay. T Say we start with the ball, so it's no big deal. All right, let's put up a couple more touchdowns here. Third quarter starts with a run Terrible run, Mac. Should have gone straight up the middle. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right, it was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. Well, that's and it's not the really and that ain't that's not either i don't want that run either just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry no not at all they did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up out of the gun now on third down got his man complete over the middle yep just get the first down and he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Dallas up big on Washington. The, of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure out. Oh, this come point, on. This is a great spot for them to go into attack mode. Really try and put the hammer down. A stretch play off. that never, ever so works. No Especially now. Not doing that. The 37-yard line. This ain't gonna work either. Here's a play fake as they set up the yep. Under a heavy rush yep. Dude, that goes. was not gonna work. They were bringing on way too much pressure for that. Should have gotten a quick pass. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, oh, you're right. I don't, you nobody's going to be open unless Pittman can break free from that guy. Oh, wow, look at that accuracy. Wow. MVP right there. Well, this game, definitely. Hope he's on your fantasy team this week, people. Mac certainly not tearing it up like he did last year, but still not doing bad. Dang. Only getting maybe three yards a carry. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing like this to get the Burton and Campbell. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it. But when this ball what? is intercepted, picked off by Avante Maddox, then he'll bring it all the way back just a yard or two shy. Campbell not even try to go for that. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third. How'd that even happen? Derailed by the INT, and that was that was weird that was definitely a weird one 
Starting the drive with a gift oh, to first back. mistake of the game. Be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Now a man open oh. down the middle of the field. Dang. Able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40. Like to go to Pittman here. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other ah. so well, no matter how one I mean, how they much time was I supposed to take, you know? They are shredding them in this ball game. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. On second down, it's Mac. I mean, yeah, Fletcher Cox and all of them are stopping the run pretty good. We'll take this into the fourth. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. All right, third and nine. They need to get to the 29. Really need that safety to drop, but he has not been doing it at all this game. On play action, they'll throw. Looking deep for Hilton. And that is caught. Touchdown. Oh my god, are you serious? T.Y. Hilton, his third touchdown again. How in the hell did he catch that? And the Colts are able to grow their lead. They were still... <laughs> Wow, that's insane. On first down. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. That was one I wish you could do that in real life. Oh, Dallas is all over Washington. They keep it on the ground. Some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Could this be a preview Indianapolis Dallas Super Bowl? Actually, I think we we must play them this year because we got the Eagles. Damn, we got creamed. Oh, they're not going to give it to us? That's a bunch of crap. Shoot this clock out. They'll start on the ground with Mac. Oh, only had one guy to get rid of. Inside the 45. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for. 400 yards off. The fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Damn. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you've got to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. Pittsburgh has Josh here. Rosen, Just huh? If you have the ball, oh, yeah, nowhere to go. And the Buccaneers have Marcus Mariota. I wonder if they can't score. And we might as well just run and keep going. Bengals and Ravens. Oh crap, I meant to run more clock out. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 30. Detroit over Chicago. A Chapman for the Bears. That must be their new quarterback. Some of the most unselfish players on any They're just in fields for this game. On first down, they'll start out with Mac. No. But yeah, at this point, the Eagles still have Carson Wentz, but next year it's going to be Carson Wentz leading the Colts. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. On first down, they'll stay with Mack on the ground. Oh, he almost pushed away and broke away from that guy. It'll 
That'll set up a second and seven. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Brings up second and seven. See if anybody in our division this year will give us any challenge. Yes, we only won by six against Jackson though, but even though uh, I think they beat us once. Yeah, they did beat us once because they played like a spoiler on week 17 or something like that. We played awful against them in the other first year. Titans have always played us hard. Houston has been a joke. But it should only be us, us and the Titans this year for the division. For Mac. And he got another Three first down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. It's All right, one more game. run here, and we're done. Satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. Atlanta they beat Minnesota. Keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Gurley only got like 50 yards. Julio now with the Titans. They'll run on first down. It's Mac. And across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. Fletcher and that's all she wrote. 2 0. Oh. With one pretty much a damn perfect game, except for that one crazy interception. P.Y. MVP of the game. Don't know how he caught that. No idea how he did that. But I will take it. Yep. Carson Wentz playing for the Colts that. next year. He could not even get into the touch the in the end zone. Love the Love the way they Apparently, Jacob Eason tried to throw some. It's a win here in their home opener as they move to two and zero, and they'll hit the road next to take on the Houston Texans. Oh, we get the Texans next, which should not be any problem. Well, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. Uh, go ahead, do me a favor, smash that like button. Leave a comment if you'd like, and uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, either way, I will see you guys next time when we take on the Houston Texans. Take care.